Hey guys, I'm back. So I hadn't made a video lately because I haven't had anything really interesting to talk about and I haven't been um, really working on my orchids. Uh, I, I have bought a couple new ones and I was waiting to, I don't know, have time, <laughs> but I have, um, have some, a couple things. So these are still in bloom, my moth orchids, which like I said, they are my pride and joy. They're just so pretty. They're so soft and different kind of pink. And of course the, the big lip on it. Um, I have one in spike. Now I'm thinking this is the new spike, but I guess this was an old spike that never went through, which is odd. And then there's this spotted spottiness that came out. I'm not too crazy about the, um, roots here they're not terrible like they're so dark but i mean i guess at least they're not rotten they look pretty good but this is where they pretty much are i guess it looks pretty good it just looks a lot darker green you know like off camera but i guess they look good and this is where the flowers are so i'm not even going to take them out um this is the ones that are uh potted in choir choir core choir and this one just the blooms just fell off they had the white and pink blooms so I went ahead and cut the spike off. Usually I don't, but I'm going to try out the idea of um, cutting off the spike so that the orchid can focus on um, the vegetative, you know, the vegetative growth. <laughs> I hope I'm saying that right. But these are pretty good um, roots. This was in a glass vase prior so it um these were like super dry but i've been spraying them with my um secret sauce <laughs> uh what is it called um what was i spraying it with oh the diluted seaweed mix so yeah that's it's not my secret sauce but it's something i like to use um this one has been really nice really good great growth and they're really like nice uh, has nice rigidity got a new leaf right here growing a lot of good roots and nice color of the leaves so I'm really happy with that one it, well it's really happy with me rather than so and these are all ha they have all been newly potted um i just potted for the first time well i did attempt to pot this one you know um prior like a year or two ago but it was not doing good <laughs> i hadn't quite um established my potting skills or you know had good quality supply supplies um, it really does make a, a difference when you have a good mix. The better grow orchid mix or, you know, bark mix is really good. I don't think it's a bad product for new growers that are, you know, just starting out. This one was in water. I will try to link it up here or right here. This one has always grown roots and I think I have gotten enough roots to be in the pot for
for it to finally root itself and I just don't think it likes being in water culture it had grown a lot of roots and then they just all died and I just I don't have any idea why and I think uh, leaves were still like dropping luckily it, it grew these two leaves and we have a, a nice chunky well green root here so and I've heard read that when it has this like purpley color or you know this purple tinge on the leaves of course you know it's dehydrated looking at the leaves and their rigidity um, it's lacking nutrients mostly probably uh, calcium and magnesium so this is where I'm going to try to get this one uh, more nutrients well basically all of them but this one I took out of water culture also I don't know what fell. Um, see how I had to prop it up onto a little stake um, it has been laying flat for quite a while Jesus Christ you can't touch them without one of them falling and I really hate moving them around because there's so much loose bark it just gets everywhere but anyways it had been laid like laying flat and luckily I think I put it in a pot um, just in time because I'm gonna start losing this leaf it hadn't lost any leaves in a while unfortunately my cats are over here beating each other up it hadn't lost any leaves those two but I peeled back that um, dead skin but you know it it, it rooted I don't want to say rooted because it hasn't you know like what is it called like being pot bound um, but it has fit pretty well into the um, pot so the thing about it is I used to I think I would choke the orchid by putting it so far into it that the stem didn't have enough um, room to breathe so I made sure that I squished the roots in there because uh, they were already uh, soaking from being in water culture. So I just, I try, I, I always was so ginger, gingerly with the orchids, but you know, they're pretty tough plants and this one finally fell, you know, hopefully this one doesn't. But, you know, we're going to lose this one eventually. Who knows how long it's going to be. Let me get back here. So I'm noticing this was my keiki. This was the big keiki. The first child. My firstborn. And it's been in here for a good amount of time. It has lost a couple leaves but you can't really tell now they lost this one and see how there's um some yellowing from the middle uh, i never clean the leaves i know i need to but i never do and this one is a good color these two are nice and lime green these two are a bit and this is light light it's a little bit light but um has some good roots it's been rooting it's pot bound this one is pot bound because it was just a little tiny cakey now it's almost looks like a big cakey kind of and i'm noticing that there is um i guess it's algae i'm uh, pretty sure but I'm not sure if it's bad or good, but I put some river rocks and um, styrofoam. I burned the holes in 
the bottom so it could be well drained but it can also I don't uh, do holes in the side because I feel like moisture will it'll dry out too fast and then I will have to you know water it and it won't um, how do you say like have enough moisture because you know that's why you have the sphagnum moss and I have the charcoal and the perlite I know I was talking about <laughs> um, see I go off in tangents but to double back on that I slowly over the last three years I uh, bought some perlite some I had some sphagnum moss from before and I went ahead and bought a new bag of Orchiata bark and I just mix it up in a buck in a bin and you know I repotted all of these so I'm super happy with them this has been a very very sturdy uh, mini fowl no ID from Lowe's and it has I mean these leaves have been hanging on for dear life and I really don't want it don't want to repot it I have a new spike it's not even a new spike it's really grown out I was going to train it and put it on a spike a wooden spike <laughs> or a, yeah this one um, the blooms fell off and that was like recently it was in bloom for like ever let me see if I can get the pot out and I really don't want to repot it like it looks it looks good no Missy stop it Oh, and she's hurting my feet. And, um, like, the roots look really good. I only have, like, this is perlite that got into the, um, pot. But, yeah, we only have these. There's only two. Or... And that was that. Let's see. Do it too gingerly. <laughs> Okay, I'll put this one over here. I'm going to put this one over here. So this is an interesting one. I hope I still have you guys and you haven't clicked off yet. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, leave me a comment, good or bad. Uh, I welcome that. But anyways, um, this is the Limelight Fowl, Phalaenopsis, and it's the one I had outside in a terracotta pot, uh, what is it, the summer before last summer, and it bloomed then, and it bloomed this summer, or spring, and all of the leaves slowly <laughs> fell off and maybe that was from the um, sun damage like, yeah and see like all of it this one was really beat up I should have never you know I had no idea what I was doing I will put them outside again this year or next year but um, I will do it a lot more smartly smart smarter but yeah it, it so it had this leaf another leaf and another leaf so this one was trying to poke out okay so that one completely fell off I can't remember if it was a third but this one broke off from here and it just had like this spotting or whatever and then it broke off clean and then this one broke off clean and it was up to here it wasn't so far down and I knew and I'm telling you this this one 
just grew in. So it was just this, it was all green. So I knew if I put it up uh, close enough to the, the window that it would grow another, another leaf because it was already trying to grow. You could see it poking out and it was right here. So I let it, you know, I didn't let it, it did it on its own. And then this one, this new one came up and there we go, new life. <laughs> I mean, not new life, but yeah. You can see where the roots were trying to um, poke in. But like I said, I wasn't paying attention to them. I hadn't been fertilizing them, watering them. And I guess they weren't too mad at me because they're still going. This is the baby cakey. Makes me think of um, Gabby's Dollhouse. <laughs> My daughter loves that show. Okay. So I actually used um, a, a rice cup, the rice measuring cup from the rice cookers. I realized that I was using, the pots were too big because I was using this size terracotta pot for, which one was it? Yeah, this dendrobium that I'm trying to recover. And finally I found a, like a small cup and it has been, I guess, happier and it's um, starting to pot be, it's not pot bound yet. I'm not sure if I'm using the right terminology, but it's it's rooting itself in there. Like the, the roots kept dying and the leaves kept falling off. Recently had one fall off. See, it would, have, it would be so much bigger, but roots kept dying and leaves kept falling off. And I want to attribute it to the water I've been giving them. And I'll come, I'll double back uh, to that. But um, I'm not sure which this one was. Like, this one is either white or purple. White or purple. The mini is purple. The keikis are white. The only one that's not white is this one, which was yellow. It's my limelight. Purchased from a greenhouse. I mean, how much more can I say? Um, I have my humidifier. It's not on right now. I gotta refill it. And because it's blowing upwards to, you know, from the bottom here, um, it's, that's why I try to move them back because there's moisture sitting in there. Usually I will, you know, wait till all the water is gone. Please don't tell me. Oh my God. <laughs> I didn't have my mic on. Okay, I didn't have my mic on, but I hope we, you guys could have, I, you know, could hear me. Cause a lot of the times I'm doing this when my daughter's asleep and I'm always whispering so like i said i hope you guys you know heard that first part because i'm not <laughs> gonna record it again um i will go over this shelf i went over the osmosis filter i don't know if i'm going to separate that video or redo it i can always do that but like i said i've a bunch of phalaenopsises and I can't even tell you what which one's which but this one has it's so weird because it has this new leaf and now it's wait a minute yeah it's growing this other leaf but it's a nice pretty color nice and lime green on to the good stuff this one was so damaged I mean look at it it's still damaged. 
I'm losing my and this is the Sogo variegated Vivian it's a mini fowl it's like one of my first really like special orchids not from a grocery store and it was in water culture well actually it was like it had it was leaf you know inverted in water because it had zero roots and that was back in like 2020 um so i mean there, it was growing leaves <clears throat> just fine but we've been growing less leaves and more roots which i mean i can't complain about that <clears throat> and i really just potted this last week i think over the weekend like last weekend and guess what it's going to bloom and it's i want to say like the blooms now they are purple <laughs> but they're like um like a bluish purple i don't know how to explain it indic not indic ah uh, you guys will see it okay you will be the first ones to see it and like I said, I I just potted it. I know that's um, a questionable move for a recovering orchid, but I thought it was the best thing to do, you know, for the leaves and the sake of the roots that you know, I patiently waited to grow. And this is my first Catlia. It's a seedling and it is a it is volcano jewel volcano queen and it's brown with red spots i'm just learning how to read these labels and um or you know the names like the rlc i can't remember what that is but um and this was a better grow um this was the freaking label and that is not a brown well wait a minute it is brown spot well it's not what i saw on the internet like when i googled volcano jewel it's not what came up but it does have brown spots anyways it was so tiny i think i posted a picture on my instagram Please follow me on Oh My Orchid. Okay, everyone, I had to replace my, uh, what is it called? My mic because I have not charged it in forever. So anyway, um, this is potted in a, I'm sure, moss uh, bark mix. And it has grown so much. Like this little thingamajigger was like down like down there and this one was too it was like this far and this one like shot up like really it was like right here and there's another leaf yeah these were really i mean they're still small but <laughs> they were a lot smaller and I've been doing good. I just soak it in, you know, I mean, I just, I don't soak it, but I, I'll say soak. I don't immerse, but I do, but um, then I let it dry out. So I'm not watering anything until, until I get my filtration system in there. Cause I am so excited for them to have good clean water and then get a good accurate fertilizer mix and I can't wait to show you how I would try to do it before <laughs> and I had no idea I will try to link that goofy video that was back when I first started growing and I was watching a lot of videos and it was pretty pretty uh, awesome but I went over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
10 orchids by themselves and this video is at 30 minutes right now so i will come back and i'm this is the third shelf we'll go over this shelf and i will use my little um step stool i do not want to go up here but i will and of course i'm gonna preview my new orchids and i will go over what they are i got a brassavolia a dendrobium a new catlia catlia ananthalia this is the jackie bright and then i got an encyclia as well and i don't have any idea what i'm doing um i will give a preview of my new greenhouse then i have all my tools and my you know tools and i will go over them i have some really good um amazon supplies this is my um what's it called the seaweed and i have a heater that i have been terrified to try to um, hook up i have a really cool desktop lighter light and i have hooked it up to a timer i will go over that further i have um i'm sure you can't really see it but there is a thermostat i have a um, seedling warmer and i'm trying to propagate um a spike stem um, into cakeys for fun because I don't really care for cakeys but I already birthed one and you can't see but there is an orchid in there and I will go over that the temperature is 73 and the humidity is 57 look at her get out uh-uh. Do not go up there. Oh, yeah, you can see it better. I'm sorry. And, um... So, I know orchids should not be in temperatures below 60. Um, however, this greenhouse thing, um... In here because there's no heating I have the you know like plastic stuff in there it gets below it gets to like 50 and we've had some really warm nice weather lately and it's been down to 40 and it's also been like highs of 80 so it really is amazing to have um, such high humidity in here but low temperatures with the seed seedling heat heat warmer or heating pad um hopefully i know the leaves aren't getting enough warmth but there is warmth at the bottom it's under a i have a box like a ups box or postal box down there so yeah i'm just yammering right now and i am so excited to show you guys everything i plan to um i have a whole bunch of lots of good ideas and plenty of information and updates and experiments and everything good and i hope you like it i hope you watch me and if you've made it to this point i love you so much and i look forward to hearing any kinds of comments please please comment and share your stories or ideas information whatever thank you so much and bye